So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Okay. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. <sighs> Brad's like, well, I'm the only one lonely here. I should have built All Fliss right. up with... Now that everybody's Brad here, instead. let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. <laughs> so, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? Relieving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the side? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Bopping the ground on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? He told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So. It's just like a turd. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Okay. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Okay, right then. That's going to be interesting later on. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? 
careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. <laughs> Get oh sick God, Conrad! Good Lord! And that is why the good Doctor Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're gonna want a little something to eat. <laughs> Julia, <laughs> I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh come on! Telling you, take orders from this guy. Just drink a beer. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone, check it out. That might just save me later. Gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time, smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees 
It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Terrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Good lord. No more bear. Something's gonna spook them awake. How are the pirates? Called it. What the fuck? I think so. Damn, she's good. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Untied. We gotta get untied. Like now. Oh, shit. Oh, it's not good. Come on. Ah! Fuck out. Oh. 
I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Now you got, bitch. That it, pussy? Come on. You got more than that, don't you? Oh, yeah. You know how to treat a lady, right? Not that bad. Okay, it is that bad. Wait, still. wait, no! Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! Hey. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliz. Fliz sure seems to be getting buddy-buddy with them. my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay. They're coming. You have scissors, you can just stab the motherfuckers in the eyes. STAB them IN THE EYES! Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Kill them. You can stab them in their eyes. Got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. If you can distract them, I can sneak around to the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. 
Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. It'll be a heartbeat thing. It is so going to be a heartbeat thing. Fucking knew it. Go fuck yourself. Tommy, now! Drop it, Buster. Conrad! Easy. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. What are you doing, you idiot? Careful, don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, old son. Junker. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! I know what the fuck he's saying. Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Now I'm fleece. Check around the trigger too, so I gotta be safe. I gotta be smart here. Connie can take care of himself. All right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys. They travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap and you set us that up. Yeah, so. Put a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, 
come with me. I'm a Frank. I'm trying to use it. I'm going sorry. I'm a Frank. I'm trying to use it. I'm sorry. I didn't. Good shooter setup, bro. They're doing a whole ass watch today. Yo! That's a dumb cab stand. Yo! Good shooter setup. That's so right. Good lord, I was something else when I was a kid. When I was younger. I was a pain in the ass in Walmart. Oh my god. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. It's gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple buffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Guys, yeah, fuck. Just cut it all loose. <gasps> hey, move it now. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Conrad said he was hiding under the bunk beds. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Sergeant. <laughs> Fuck sakes. Ah. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. I think he wanted us to die. I think he wants somebody to die. You appear to have saved somebody. 
A bold move that paid off this time. But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Again, eh? Sure. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads... All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Fair. Anyway, now that Curator. you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. 